All right, guys, uh, welcome to our tutorial today with Expert Network Consultant. Um, today, we'll be talking to you about how to identify host device on the network. Now, um, you go to your client and then you'd want to um, perhaps identify where network devices are. Um, you've been on the firewall and you realize that what you were told is that firewall happens to be something else. And you want to locate where the other firewall really is. Now, um, I don't think I have a lot of network equipment to turn on right now, but to quickly teach you how to do this, um, I'm going to go ahead and launch the command prompt. So, um, CMD. Now, once it's launched, um, you would go. First and foremost, you have to fi find out where you are, and you can find out. Who you who is providing you your DNS? So this happens to be mine, okay. And now we're on the devices, so I could first find out what I am and what I am because I'm connected by Wi-Fi uh, over here in a second is going to be this one here, okay. So this one here, it's my settings, okay. True. So this bit here. Uh, is my settings okay now uh, scrolling up use an important program called the app now app it's um, also known as address resolution protocol now I'm gonna have to teach you uh, how it works but I want to quickly show you how to use this method to get uh, the names of all the systems that you have running on your network, systems here being hosts, and then identify what they are and what they're doing on your network, okay? Because as I said to you in our previous nuggets, that um, every host has a purpose, okay? There's no reason to have a host. It has no purpose. Either it's a consumer or it's a resource that's providing whatever. It has a purpose. Okay, so now I'm going to have to do this. Um, first, let me just ping the device, uh, which is my firewall, my DNS. Uh, I'll do ping one as a 192.168.0.1.1. Now, it resolves with the, with the, uh, with the name brightbox.ee. Okay, so that's the name of the machine, right? Okay, so what if I did ping brightbox.ee? What am I gonna get? Exactly, I get, I get um, again, I get one two one to say to one dot one. Okay, okay. So now let's go back again. Now, whilst we're here, I'm gonna um, go and do something interesting. So let's do an app minus a. And this gives you information of um, all that's running on my network. Now, at the moment, as I said to you earlier, um, on my interface mode, which is the uh, interface 1.154, only have this gateway thing, uh, which is my firewall, and the broadcast, okay? I don't seem to have any other devices turned on. I'm gonna go ahead right now and turn on my tablet. Okay. Let's turn the Wi Fi on. And once that's turned on, I'm gonna go ahead on the tablet to find out information about it. So I'm gonna go settings. Um, you don't see that here, but I'm gonna do that. Um, click on the Wi-Fi, see the IP address I'm getting. So I'm getting 192.168.1.189. So let's do uh, ping minus a 192.168.1.189. And let's see what we get. So that gives me my Android device, okay? Mark. Now this is spe specific DNS name. For that device, and uh, so I'm going to do ping minus uh, ping uh, paste, and I can get the same thing, okay? 
So now when I do ARP minus A, I should get the 189 somewhere. And here we do. Uh, let me use my pen here. So we have 192, as I said, 10189. But you see something else to the right of it. Okay. And that is the most important bit that I need. Now, how do I know what sort of device it is? Okay, you could tell it was an Android device, but what sort is it? So now that I've gotten the, the MAC address of it, I'll head back to my favorite browser, um, which which over here is um, to Firefox. And I'm going to have to close all my favorites immediately so you don't see exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go to Wireshark, uh, look at two. As you can see, I've been there before. Now I'll paste, I'll paste the home MAC address. Now another name for this MAC address I'm gonna uh, put in here. Um, it's um, it's called hardware address, or it's also called um, network no 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 network address um hardware address um physical uh, address mac mac address okay so all these are similar names are useful for that so now i put in bc the oui happens to be the first uh, the first uh, three here. That's for the company, and this is um, the, the you know the continued lots they produce. So let's click on find results now. Um, it tells me that the BCEE7B happens to be a company called Asistec. Let's check what Asistec is and uh, see what they have to offer. And Asistec happens to be this company. Yes. And I have a tablet like that, okay. Um, so, so this is uh, um, a simple method in getting to know what devices are on the network. So, for example, if you're writing a script or um, you were writing a program to try to like create a network topology, and identify um, all the devices in the network. The things you'll be looking out for um, would include. Um, going to get a list of all the IP addresses and the MAC addresses or the machine numbers, okay, and using a reverse lookup policy like an ARP um, to find out, uh, sorry, yeah, to find out the MAC addresses and using a system like uh, an OUR lookup with Wireshark or any other tool that may be available to see um, the manufacturer and then append or annotate to the uh, topology what it is. So now, for example, if I went back to my PowerPoint here and um, I did a drawing, I, would, I could just easily say that my computer, which is my beautiful laptop here, okay, um, it's connected by Wi-Fi to my bright box, okay? And then I have a tablet here, which happens to be an ASUS, also connected by Wi-Fi. And then all to this uh, gateway device or firewall um, called Brightbox. Now, literally, uh, if I did a wired connection here, the wired connection here. Um, this is able to speak to that. Now I know this is on the dot one eight nine, and this one I think is one point four. Okay, so now um, I could bring up my part over here and do ping uh, one nine two the one six eight the one the one eight nine. Okay, so now I could do that. So or I could just trace. Route to one eight two the one six eight the one the one eight nine. Let's see what's in there. So it tells me that um, it went through just one hop. Okay, and then it went to the one eight nine. Now, what's my IP address? My IP address happens to be 
192.168.1.154. So let's see if that's true. Um, let's do ping minus A. And can be paged here. Currently saved. Some some laptop new CMI that work with. Okay, so that needs to be my computer now. So um, briefly again, uh, let me just launch Notepad and then we go over the points. Okay, so this is what you need. First, um, identify your um, gateway. Use NS Lucab or IP config, which is my most preferred, because uh, that would definitely point out people in a vacuum. Um, so know your subnet, and then do an up minus a, and copy MAC address. And reverse your cap on Wireshack or you are local to or any other um, working platforms out there. Okay, um, once that is done, you will be able to, for example. create an amazing info info rich topology all right so go ahead and um, watch the video again again and sketch your homes uh, network topology So an important tool, NS Lookup, must be one of the two belts. IP config, definitely for sure. Trace routes, um, something it's good, but too essential, but it's definitely needed. So thanks for watching and subscribe. See you on the next video. We have more that we we're going to offer you with time. Um, look out for next videos. Thank you and see you soon.